Bonjour and welcome to my channel. Today I want to build this device, a water leak detector. This is the final version. I have a couple of constraints. First of all, I wanted to use a Wemos with a shield to power on the Wemos because I have a battery. This is the battery that I, will, I want to use, a 3.7 volt. And to char charge a battery, I have this charger. And I also want my device to post information on the cloud. So let's take a look on the circuit. This first part here is the operational amplifier that takes the difference between the water leak detector and uh, resistors. I have here the portion that resets the WEMUS. Here we have the buzzer and a micro switch to allow me to configure it. And finally, this portion is to monitor the battery that is on the shield. Okay. Let me show you briefly uh, what I did in the electronic portion. I already explained the circuit, so you see it here. If I click on the board button, I see my board with the Mini Pro just here. Over the Mini Pro, I'm going to have another board that is a shield. And the shield have um, the 3.3 volt battery that I'll, I solder wires on it and I will connect it to the two pins here, which are in the electronic circuit this portion here so this represents the two pins where I connect the battery so I can monitor the voltage of the battery but the rest is quite simple it's a simple board once the board is finished I click on fusion 360 button I create a new fusion design click on next and I choose a folder where I want to store my project once it's stored I can switch inside of Fusion 360 to build the enclosure around it. So let's go in Fusion 360. So here we are in Fusion with the enclosure. If I remove the top of the enclosure, you see the electronic circuit that I just showed you. One of the big advantage of using Eagle is that you can take your circuit and post it directly to Fusion 360 and build an enclosure around it like I did. So I have the battery right here and i use an external antenna as you can see here so the range is enough now for the, the the sensor part if i just open this as you can see in my design i draw this kind of a water leak so the water will touch the two screws this one and this one and i solder wires between this screw and one of the two pins of the, the connector here and the other screw and the other pin of the detector so the two pins can read if water is detected on the, the screw heads this is about it for the presentation of the, the project okay now that you have an idea of how I did it let's move on and go to the build process but first I have to export the electronic circuit and order the board so i went to a glc pcb website and it was as simple as asking for a quote once the zip file was loaded i verified every settings and choose red why not once it was done i click order and glc pcb paid for that board so it was very simple for me a couple of weeks later maybe two or three i received it and let's check the board Check this out, the board is very nice. Okay, I can't wait to put the components on it. I'm very satisfied. Okay, so let's print the enclosure and, and start the build process. Yes, I know, the print is a mess. It's because of the print head, I had a small problem. But anyway, I used a torch and melt all these plastic filaments. It wasn't that bad. The first step was to use barrel wire cream copper ring to connect my uh, screws on the bottom so I can solder wires on it. Oh. 
I added four threaded inserts where I will screw the board. While the build process is going on, I just wanted to mention that this is my first experience creating an electronic circuit that works on battery and transmits data over the internet. I'm very proud of the result, but I will do some more project with batteries, so I have to be more efficient. So my next project will be much more efficient energy-wise. Well, this is the breadboard with the electronic components on it. You can see here the Wemos with the shield on top of it, with the white connector for the battery. Okay, I installed the device near my hot water tank. And you see the website, uh, I have the battery level and the status, which is actually green. I put the wet scot towel on the concrete and if I, if I put the device on it, it beeps. And if I remove it from the water, it's gonna stop beeping and the, the alert that is now red, as you can see, will turn back green. So the next part would be to add another service like FTTT to send me an alert on my iPhone if uh, water is detected, but it's not done yet. Anyway, this is it. This is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the small project. And if so, click on the thumbs up, share it, and see you next time. Bye!